Hey team bags, what's going on? I am back with another tech video and I did buy something else of course because I always do and I love the products that DJI make. Yes, it's another DJI product. By the title, you'll probably already know, I did buy the DJI Action 2. Now the reason is, um, I know it's had a lot of issues in the past I've heard of overheating and stuff like that. But I bought the newer version in obviously 2024. I don't know when this came out actually, the new version. I don't know if this came out this year or last year. Probably last year or the year before. But this is the 128 gigabytes. Now you don't get 128 gigabytes. You get 109 because obviously the software. Um, I think DJI Action 2 came out in 2018 as I do think. But I do love the way the form factor is of this, the magnetic and all that glorious stuff. And it's already been opened. I've opened it. I haven't tested it. I haven't recorded anything on it yet, but I'm charging it up. But I want to show you what you get in it because you've probably already seen videos of what's in it. So I'm just going to go through fast for you. So it's not like you have to skip through the whole thing. You get a magnetic lanyard, which obviously you put it under your shirt and then it magnets onto this thing and all that glorious thing. So that's one thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, with it, you also get the headband, which you can magnetic. I don't understand the notch here, though. I don't get that. I don't know if you can see that, that notch there. I don't really understand that. But you magnetic on there. You put it over your head. You know, you adjust it the way you like. Sorted. You get cable to charge it, obviously. And then also you get this little thing, which it clips on. And it's magnetic there, which you can actually put on. Or normal mounts for cameras and stuff like that, where you screw through. You know, if you're a camera person, if you're a tech person... You will know what these are, so I don't really have to talk about them. If I do, then let me know in the comments, and I'll try and describe it to you in text. By the way, I'm dyslexic, so I'll, you know, I'll do my best. Um, but I'll just unplug it real quick. This is the uh, camera itself. I got the, uh, obviously, the dual screen module because uh, it's just what I wanted. It's magnetic. Also, it does come with the case, uh, what DJI uh, decided to put in with every DJI Action 2 uh, product from now on you get it for free um i've heard of some people paying from you don't have to pay from you can actually just get them from dgi for free i believe uh but this helps overheating now i don't know if it does but it meant to now if you get in the obviously the euro european version of it you can't put the temperature to high in the settings um you can only put it to normal standard so yeah now what i'm mostly going to do with this camera is like put it on my chest or my head and get first first person view uh viewings of when i'm walking somewhere and all that and the also the other reason why i did get the uh, dual screen combo is because he's got extra mics on it and uh instead of like two mics you get four or something like that and yeah i think it will be pretty cool to try and do it's also magnetic at the bottom if you wanted to know anywhere that this part is is magnetic so i can put it up anywhere where i want to also another thing which i didn't hear that anybody said in any video that might have done you can connect this up and use it as a webcam don't know if that helps any of you guys but you can set it up just plug it in by usb or type c to your computer and then plug it in with like a module because the module has only got the uh, type c and you can kind of have it as a magnetic webcam i guess because you can attach it somewhere if that helps it's got ultra wide and all that glorious stuff i don't know what the webcam uses though i don't know if it just uses what you put on here so if i have it 4k will it do 4k webcam i'm not 100 sure on that so don't question me on that so i thought i'd just let you know that is an option if you wanted a webcam but there is cheaper webcams out there but it's pretty cool that you can have do with that as well but like i say I don't know. I, I'm excited to use this. You've got a rock steady. Um, you've got all s sorts of things. Time lapse. Whatever you think in DJI products, you've pretty much got it. And it's 4K 120 uh, frames if you want that sort of thing. I'll probably only go 4K 60 or 4K 30 uh, or depending. Uh, mostly I'll use it just this module and then use this as a charging module. Because you can charge basically to charge this. You have to have this and then connect it. But there is products out there that's accessories that you can get where it's kind of like this. Uh, where you connect it to, to the module. Um, if I just get it real quick. And you connect it like that. And it's got a type C kind of like port here where you can actually charge it like that. Which I might pick one up eventually. But I don't really need one right now. 
But um, yeah, I don't know. The reason, one of the main reasons is I got this as well is because I just, I, I love the magnetic game. I love magnetic stuff. I don't know why, but this, like this, that seems seamless. It's just, it feels so good. You know what I mean? When you have it on something like, I don't know, whatever you want, boom, connect. It just feels so good. Now, I know I have the DJI Pocket 3. Now, I know that. But this is going to help me more with different kind of shots that I want to do. I know I don't do vlogging too much. But when I do, I want to try and do it the best as I can. I got a drone. I've got this. I've got the Pocket 3. I think I'm all set with my um, bundle now. I think I'm good. Now, you know, I haven't used it yet. I don't know how the microphone's going to go. The downside is, and it, it was one of the form factors that I was going to get this or the Action 4. Now, the reason I got this is because I just think it's more seamless. Like, if I, if I like, for example, if I have this on my chest here, it's less noticeable than the Action 4. I know it's kind of stupid, but also the Magnet game as well. Um, but the only bad thing that I think about this is it's hard to connect wireless uh, mics to it. It hasn't got a transmitter in it, I don't think. Now, you can buy the DJI wireless mics too and connect the uh, module here and connect like a transmitter on the Type-C. But I want to mainly use just the body, the, the main, the module. And you can't do that unless if you get a certain attachment, I think. I don't know. Tell me in the comments what you think of this i'm gonna do some videos on it do some wide angle and all that glorious stuff but yeah that's the reason why i got it so let's go out and test it and see what you think i'm gonna mostly have it on my chest and then i'm gonna obviously switch it around it's gonna be on ultra wide so there might be some like you know warping at the side or something but the reason why i want it on ultra wide is because you just see more, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's simple. You just see more. I know it's gonna look weird, but yeah, I'm gonna charge this bad boy up, and then we're gonna be doing videos on it and see how it goes. Also, I forgot you can actually, if you've got the uh, dual screen as well or the battery, you can have an SD card in it there. But to be honest, would I use it? Because I'm, I'm kind of one of the people that the reason why I got 128 gigabytes or 109, because you know the software takes away from it, um, is because. I can record a little bit longer, but most of the time when I record something, I format it straight away anyway, or just delete the files on it. So then it's fresh for the next time I record. I always do that. I've always done that. I don't like stuff to be on it. If you know what I mean, I like it to be a blank canvas every time I use it. But yeah, let's get to it and see what it's like. There you go. So... I've got it on my lanyard right now, and it's literally in the center. It might need to be just moved a little bit. I've got it on ultra wide, so <laughs> this is just me hands free. As you can see, I've got the DJI microphone too, internally recording on it, so that's fine. Um, I can clip it somewhere, but I don't know where to clip it, so I'm just holding it. But yeah, as you can see, I'm walking freely. And there's nothing wrong. I've got it on, like I say, ultra wide, so it might look a bit warped. I don't know what you can see and what you can't see. Can you see my face up above? I don't know. That'll be a bit weird, won't it? Um, but yeah, we're just going to walk around with it. It's quite easy. The lanyard is quite... I think the lanyard is quite nice to use. And to be honest, it looks so seam slim seamless that, you know, you don't have to worry about it. Sometimes I don't even know it's there, if you know what I mean. But apart from that... It's pretty amazing to be honest i've got the uh module that's in front of me here which has got battery in it just in case if this runs out and yeah i think i'm doing on 4k 60 at the minute but yeah you can you can also hear the internal uh microphones as well uh which i don't know if they're great i don't know if you can hear me but i'm going to test them both because i've got this one the ggi mic 2 and obviously the internal microphones apparently this one's got two at the minute because i don't have the other module connected so it will have two not four but yeah it's quite seamless to be honest i can also take it off and magnetize it somewhere where ever i want to you know what i mean but 
The only bad thing is, you know what I wish? That you could actually connect this even wirelessly to see where you, you know, what you're monitoring, but you can do it with your phone. So I guess that's a way you can do it. So it's not too bad, but it seems like it's steady. I've also got it on rock steady as well. So you'll have to let me know what you think of the footage. But apart from that, it's pretty much all standard auto on everything um, and yeah you know it's not much changed I've got it in a normal standard color grade because I don't really when I record videos like vlogs like this I can't be asked to grade them I know professionals grade them but like I just I just don't see the point the sometimes the colors that come out of the uh, camera is very good either way so I just can't be asked to grade them yeah, that is just me but either way We'll see how this goes. See if I can find any other magnetic stuff around, which there probably is a lot of, but we'll do some time lapses, do some other things, and just carry on from there. I don't know why there's a wire, like a thing here. I don't know what, what they're doing here, but I don't know why they've got pegs on it here. Like they've, like they've pinned it down. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. I don't know. Yeah, they pinned it down, like they pinned it there, pinned it there, pinned it there. I wonder why they're doing that for. I don't know. No idea. But yeah, hopefully this microphone is recording. I did click record on the side. But you know, sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? But either way, it seems quite reasonable now. I don't know how I look because I just woke up, but let's take the thing off and then pop it onto here. Might look a bit <laughs> slanted, but that's quite steady. And I don't know if I looked very warped, but pretty good, pretty good. Now I need to take that off with it. Oh my God, that is a strong magnet that's on it. And then literally connect it back up and boom. Just make sure when you do connect it, it actually has balanced itself because I don't know if um, there is horizon lock, but horizon lock is like only on two something P, I mean two... 2.7k I think it's on you can get a Ryzen something a Ryzen balance which I guess it's all right but you know you never know with these sort of things so you've got to test them I've never really used Horizon balance to be honest apart from that it's a bit chilly out here is that a smiley face on the tree can you see what I'm seeing smiley face right there like, that is definitely a smiley face. I can't remember when we used to... When I, when, when I was a kid, we used to mark the tree with our initials and um, pictures. But, yeah, they might have gone by now. I don't know if it was that tree either. I don't know if it was this tree. But that's when I was a kid, back then. But, yeah. God, I feel old. I feel very old. Well, let's stop the recording there and we'll try some time lapse, some other stuff and see how it goes, shall we? Now, this is just on standard mode and I'm using the uh, the screen. So the dual module, as you can, I don't know if you can see it, but you can't, but <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm using the dual module. It's still got magnetic at the bottom and it's kind of still kind of cool. I don't know what it looks like on, actually when I get it on the computer, but I'm not using the uh, DJI mic, I'm using the four microphones that's close to it so you might hear a bit of noise of wind because it is a bit windy today but i wanted to test it out so now i'm gonna just put it here which that's not magnetic i thought that would be magnetic maybe it's not real metal probably not i want to find something magnetic because this is what it's all about with this camera that you know it's got magnets around it it's got magnets in it and it's just cool you know what i mean i love i love the magnetic stuff now I doubt it will hold up with some sort of stuff, but it's going to turn because the magnetics are on the bottom. I think this is mag, hopefully. There we go. So now I'm in like 
vertical which I don't really want because it's annoying but I could have it like up top somewhere like that so now I'm just talking with thing pull it off and then off we go so there is a lot of things you can do with it with the magnet magnets and when you're out and about doing vlogs or anything you know you will find something magnetic the only downside I would say with having the two modules on don't put it on your land lanyard because it's too heavy like if I would put it on my lanyard right now it would most likely fall off so the only the you know the primary body is for the lanyard as pretty much and they have probably had the band as well uh, I haven't used the headband because I always wear a beanie now I think the headband would be cool but yeah let me know what you guys think do you like standard or ultra wide there is another wide one which I'll change it to now so this is wide this is the wide angle so you've got standard wide ultra wide well standard D warp wide ultra wide so only three there's probably more if you look at different settings I guess I don't think there is because then you've got rock steady you know you've got steady rock steady um, what is it horizon balance balancing and then something else if you go to 2.7k but like I say at the minute I'm only going to be recording 4k and apparently this overheats a lot but the thing with me is I record in like little bits at a time and then snip it together so I don't think I'd have a problem with it but you never know in the future if I want to do like a just walking down the road or something you know what I mean I think wide is not too bad to be honest um, we'll, have to, we'll have to have a look in the recording when we do it now I don't know I really want to try something if I pull the body off is it still going to continue recording obviously you lose two microphones but I kind of don't want to do it just in case if I mess it up but it would be pretty cool if it did should I just do it I don't know I, I might just do it just to see what happens and what happens to it let's see it still records so the body's off and it's still recording and if I put it back does it come back on this this screen it does so I don't know if you could hear the difference of the microphones there me disconnected them or something there might be a bit of a problem but we'll soon find out we'll soon find out we've got a test I'm literally just walking up and down because I just want to talk let's do some um, hyperlapse or something or something that we can do but yeah And there you have it. Um, most of the time I'm just going to be using it as a POV, like on my chest. But yeah, there you go. It is literally on my door handle right now. That's how small it is and it's compact and everything. But yeah, I can not connect it with this, but I can use the internal audio to this. So yeah, I don't know how the audio on that internally is, you know, but it, it works for a POV format. I've got my DJI Pocket 3 to do the most camera work and then I've got a drone and then this to put on my chest or my headband and it literally just works there's nothing wrong with it I've got it in wide ultra wide does like a warping effect a bit on the edges and stuff like that but it's still good if you want to get more in a POV kind of format um but yeah I don't know standard D warp is a bit more inner but as you can see it looks all right. Let me know what you think in the description below. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to edit all these together. Did a high hyperlapse. I did a slow-mo. And yeah, I will see you next time, whatever I do. Or unless I come in at the end of it to talk about it a bit more. But yeah, I'll see you then. Bye for now.
So there you go, just a quick message from me. Like, I did a bit of slow-mo, but you kind of know what slow-mo is if you've had a camera. I did a bit of a higher lapse. You kind of know what that is. You kind of know what all the settings are if you've had a camera before. But like I say, I think it's amazing. The Eternal cameras are good with, like, 2 and 4. It depends if you want 2 and 4. It depends if you have it on the lanyard. But I don't know. I use my also the uh, DJI Pocket 2 mic, as they say. DJI Pocket 2 mic. I mean DJI the Mic 2 wireless one. But yeah, like I say, what do you think in the comments below? Let me know what you think. I'll be using it for POV mostly. For I uh, thought I'd let you know. And what do you think of the warp, the warp, and all that? Uh, warp. I mean, the D warp, the ultra wide, the wide. Let me know what you think. I think I'll probably have on ultra wide or even wide when I do POV. But yeah. Please subscribe, rate, and comment, and all that sort of stuff. I'd no rating because you can't do that anymore on YouTube. I still do it because it's so addictive to say it. But yeah, I'll see you next time, whatever I do. And you'll see more of this camera. Yeah, bye for now.